Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Medieval. In the last episode, it took us four tries to actually try and steal something. Uh, so we lost a couple of stats, but we got a really good piece of armor, so I'll take it. Let's go into battle now and see what we can find. Some experience points. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's fine. I wonder what ever happened to the fearful prisoner. He seemed a lovely chap. Indeed, mad Sir Scott Mills. Alright, so you beat me in agility, that's about it. So, I'm going to maul you. You've used a focus potion. Good for you. You're parrying. Way too much for my liking. Stop that. There you go, you're gone. And we won in under ten rounds. So that's three more stars for us. And we're nearly halfway to the next level. Very nice. Alright, another battle. Another battle time. We got more experience points there. Eighteen this time from the Church Boneyard. Sir Stephen of uh, Sir Stephen declare. What does he declare? He declares his death, probably. All right, Sir Stephen. He has a vitality potion immediately. It's not going to help him against critical hits, though, is it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, that went that went pretty fast. I really do like. I, do you know, I am a fan of axes. I am a fan of axes. Another eight hundred and six gold for me to add to the collection of gold we've got. Okay, uh, a crowd gallery, okay, so a bit, uh, but get confused and end up catching, uh, creating more work for the librarian. I lose one luck point. That's all right. On oh, honest note, luck's great, but, you know, I'll, I'll take that. I still got two luck left. Anyway, Sir Vaughan Angel is our next opponent, our next opposition. Big critical hit there. And he's walking in to probably get critted again. He has a lovely, he has lovely hair, look at him. But he's now dead, and I get five stars for my victory. Earned a hundred stars over a lifetime, I get an extra star for that. And we have leveled up to the next level. Very nice, level six. We are now Hedge Knight Banneret. We have learned how to taunt. Yell carefully worded uh, uh, threats and taunts at your enemy. Taunts can enrage, terrify, or even cause physical damage to your foes. <coughs> well, I'm getting my vitality point back that I lost. Actually, I'm going to give me uh, give me give myself two more vitality points or uh, agility. Sorry. Right, quest time. Let's go on a quest and see what we can find. Following a shadowed path along a trickling stream, you come across a smooth, mossy rock. Placed upon it is a small porcelain hand mirror. I will look into the mirror. Somewhat. In oh, you picked up the mirror and you see your own reflection gazing back. Somewhat incredibly. The lines on your face seem to smooth away. The flecks of grey in your hair and the scars of battle on your forehead disappear. The mirror goes dark as you run your hands across your newly youthful face. You have grown more youthful and gained two vitality points. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's carry on in our quest. We are a bit tired, so we've got to be wary of that. Let's go for another battle. Oh... I fall and twist my ankle, I lose an agility point. God damn it, I just got that. Ugh, so Kristen Holland. Okay, he's got a lot of armor. He's got a decent amount of health as well. Oh, and he goes first, how dare you. Symbol of summoning. Okay, oh, I did a grievous hit. That's 66 damage. Oh, you know. Don't you dare do it. He actually taunted me, I actually did damage. Damn you. Did damage to me. How dare you! Oh, stop with the Horn of Gust, mate. I hate that move. I already hate that move. Get owned. Get owned. Bastard. Don't you try and talk me. Get your ass moving! Alright, 22. Critical hit! Yeah, yeah, you, you, you put your tongue out of me, mate. It's not gonna... It's not, it's not gonna help you too much. It's a weak hit. Oh, critical. Okay, keep going. Feeble hit. He's, he's doing chicken noises at me. There you go. Feeble hit. Another feeble hit. I'm enraged. Ow, critical. Okay, I'm, I'm healing. And I'm finishing you off. With an axe shot right to the face. Three stars, one for an achievement in battle. Very nice. And some more gold. All is well. I am fatigued. I think I could probably go one more battle before I need to go rest. So let's go one more. I gain two agility. I clear out a haunted cemetery of pesky zombies. Very nice. That puts my agility on nine. 
as we go up against uh, Sir Dougal Howe. He's using a stamina potion immediately. Okay, that's an interesting play. You're just jumping backwards. That's not a good play at all. You've lost your armor. Why are you... Okay, I'll shove you then. Sod you. <laughs> and I pushed him into the water. I got four stars one for victory without being hit. Uh, my character has 10,000 gold in the bag, so that's all given me some extra uh, stars. I now have 81 stars. Right, we need to go to the tavern to sleep. 515 gold, that's fine. I'll go sleep here. I dream of guinea pigs. Gain plus three luck. Very nice. Okay. Time for some more battles, I think. So let's go and do some more battles. Um, oh, I actually uh, got a star for doing uh, ten noble deeds. Very nice. I repair broken planks on the bridge out of town. Is it the same bridge I already repaired in episode, like, one or two? Probably is. Uh, Sir Renaud Lacoste. Okay. It's late morning. It's time for a fight. Let's go. Okay, he's using Electra Strength, so he's probably going to be doing more damage. He's not damaging me, though, at all. And now I have Battle Rage on, and he's dead. You dummy! You really should have done more with that, but you didn't, because you suck. Victory for me! And that's level 7. I am now a Hedge Knight Elite. New Arena unlocked. Dark Dungeons. A new arena is now available for knights to duel in. Very nice. Dark Dungeons. He that has light within his own clear breast may sit in the center and enjoy bright day. But he, but he that hides in, uh, bleh, but he that hides a dark soul and foul thoughts, benighted, walks under the midday sun himself, his own dungeon. By John Milton. Great. All right. Well, immediately agility's going to ten, so then I can get better weapons. And I think I'm going to increase wits and strength since those are two stats we're kind of lacking at the moment. And quest time! Please don't make me lose agility. That would suck. Alright, you are trekking through a meadow when you come across a tacky looking wandering vendor's stall. Manned by a shifty eyed merchant. Elixirs of youth! The last word in a fight against death and decay. A minimal cost. Guaranteed results! He enthuse, enthuses uh, and he implores your custom. Ignore him and be on your way or purchase the elixirs of youth. I'm going to ignore him. This looks shady to me. Oh, God, he took my gold. You hurry past. You clumsily trip and knock over part of the merchant's display. Five bottles shatter on the ground. As you cringe and sheepishly apologize, you break it, you pay for it, the merchant cries gleefully. And so you do, much to your disgust. My agility is decreased by... Oh, great. And I lost a, a lot of gold. 1,110 gold. Jesus. And I lost uh, I lost an agility point, so now I can't get the armor I want. Or the weapon I want, even. Ugh. Damn that merchant. Alright, we got another tournament ready. Uh, we'll go and do a duel first, though, because I want to try and get that agility back. Oh, I gained two strength. I'll leap atop a runaway carriage and attempt uh, to bring it to a halt. I gained a two strength points for that. Very nice. My strength is now a nine. At least it will be at the end of this match. Against Sir Kevin Lambert. And he's trying to taunt me. How dare you. Here's a critical hit for you. I'm going to walk towards you. I'm so close to you now. Ugh, how dare you. 25. Come on. Come on. Smack him. There you go. Another critical hit. I'll take it. And he's gone! Three stars for victory and, uh, and ten rounds. And we won ten fights in a row. So that's an extra star for us. Very nice. Right. Uh, let's, let, let's, let's do the tournament. I wanted to get a new weapon before the tournament, but that's not going to happen. Cheers, merchant. All right. Reynolds Ruffians. Enter cost is 10 stars. Victory prize is 20 stars. Tournament rules. No horse, no entry. Let's enter. Hello. All right. More crusaders arrive in town. Many of them flying banners of boorish French knight Reynold de Chatillon. Under the loose guise of a tournament, they proceed to get drunk, take over the taverns, and make a nuisance of themselves. Ah, agricultural college students. Fair enough. 
You are, of course, cordially invited to join them in their merrymaking. Just make sure you don't get drunk and wake up in a cart on your way to Jerusalem. So we've got three opponents to fight before we take on uh, Renard. I swear I never use performance enhancing potions. I sure you don't, Raymond in Jade. Alright, so we beat him in every stat pretty much, but he looks like he's got a lot of armor. So I'm going to ready up. And we're going to do a joust. Normal joust will do. Boom! 83 damage to kick off. That's quite nice. Nice one. Splash the horse. Yeah, his health is pretty low. He's actually got the same armor as me. So that's fair enough. He's got a focus potion as well. So, uh... Oh, I'm close to getting battle rage here. Yeah, I've got... Oh, no, not. I thought I got battle rage there. I've got a crit. So that's all that matters. Oh, no, my afro! My afro is exposed! Well, that just makes him mad. Anyway, I get two stars for winning on a full health. And we get 1,716 gold. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Two more opponents to battle uh, Reynald. Next up is Sir Kevin Cecil. Have I fought you already? I feel like I have fought you already. So for that, I'll show you how powerful I've gotten. I missed. Okay, so I didn't get any damage there. And he got 42 points of damage. I'm still pretty ahead though. Just due to the fact of my massive bulk. So I'm fine for the moment. Let's go for some hits. 25... Critical hit for 50. Need one more of those and I win. Because he's got 25 health. Crits do not... Uh, uh, crits bypass armor. There you go. I love the axe, folks. The axe is great. So we won uh, under 10 rounds. That's three more stars for us. And 1,304 gold for our victory. Next opponent is Sir Mark Malthus. I can't feel my sword arm. It's gone numb. Well, that sucks for you because it's a joust. Let's go, let's go for a power again. Ah, oh, I just not get... He got a power off himself, I think. Oh, that's not good. Okay, this could be more of a problem, since I have pretty much no armor now. This could be more of an issue. He's got a lovely beard, though. Look at that beard. Oh, he's swapped. How dare you. I will reveal your bald head! You bald sod. Oh, Grievous hit! 75 damage. 25... Another 25. Battle Rage is on. Battle Rage is on. 25 damage. And you're screwed. Thank you. Uh, two stars, one for triggering Battle Lust. Very nice. That would have usually, I think, been just one star. But we got two stars. We got 2,204 gold. Very nice. We're just getting a lot of money right now. And lastly, Reynold de Chatillon. He's brutally ruthless. Complete without uh, co uh, conscience or shame, he is without a doubt a dangerous fighter. Let's go. The second, I guess you could say, arena champion. He's very full of himself. He's got good strength, but everything else I've beat him in. Let's see what his stats are like. Oh, he's got good armor. Okay. That's going to be tougher than I expected. He's also got a hammer as well. But that's fine, because I got a lot of I got a lot of health. It's not the armor you got to worry about. It's the health. Once the afro has been revealed, you... My friend, start taking damage. Oh, another 20, another 50. You're dead. No, you're not. That was not a critical hit. Oh, God. I thought I actually beat you there. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I got you there, though. That was pretty easy. Thanks to Battle Lust. Reynald de Chatillon defeated. Tournament 2 is complete. Reynald de Chatillon uh, wreaked, wreaked havoc through the Kingdom of Jerusalem with greed and ferocity, plundering cities and breaking military truces everywhere he went. He made the fatal mistake of andering Saladin, uh, triggered the Third Crusade, and contributed heavily to the Christian army's embarrassing defeat at the Horns of Hattin in 1187. He met a very unjust and abrupt end when he was executed, when he was executed by Saladin himself. Well, we're just dancing at him. It's like, look at my afro. My afro is so cool. If you see my eye patch as well, but with that, 20 stars have been earned, and we have got 100 stars in the bank, and we level up, which means I can get that accuracy, or that agility point back. Anyway, we are now Hedge Knight Companion. Stars bonus, a superstar knight needs stars. Here is 12 stars to spend. Thank you very much. All right, so agility, strength, and wits. That will allow us to get armor, weapons. Very nice. 
Quest time! Forge your legend down unknown roads, or go back to town whilst getting on a quest, obviously. Uh, so, as you travel over the rolling plains, you encounter a tall, gauntly cla a goldly clad, wandering minstrel with a large mop and of brown curly hair. He sits upon a log, singing a song of peril and woe as he strums on his lute. So, good King Richard, send me away to rot inside a jail cell. Twas long I, dealt, I dwelt, and long to stay. Twas deeper than, uh, there than all hell. Throw him a couple of coins for his trouble, or I could punch him, smash his guitar to bits, and put an end to his melancholy blues. I'm going to throw him a couple of gold. I wasn't expecting that amount of gold. Jesus Christ. Anyway, the bard is both touched and enthused by your tribute. Thank you, kind sir. My name is Talisin. For your patronage. Patronage? Pa for your patronage. If you would have me along, I shall accompany you on your travels. And through my songs, all shall know your generosity and chivalry. We lost 1102 gold, but we have now gained a new follower in the Bard. The Bard. While the Bard is in your entourage, your taunts will never be ignored and will always have an effect in battle. That's not amazing since I don't use that. Uh, but we do still have the Squire um, is in your entourage. He pops up occasionally to provide you with debatably helpful advice. I'm actually going to give it the bard because this guy just doesn't really do much. He just gives us advice. We don't want. Inv we don't need advice. We don't need advice at all. All right, let's get back into town. And my state has grown in size. Very nice. We have a new section of the castle. Now it kind of looks more like a castle. Good. I like the trees as well. All right, it's early morning. Let's go and uh, kit out. So the next axe we can get is the battle axe. Uh, it does a uh, 25 damage per hit. It's worth 4,219 4, gold. We'll buy that. We, we're not stealing that. Um, and we get a star for uh, spending uh, 10,000 gold during a lifetime. Very nice. All right, armory time. Uh, I could repair it. I'm going to actually wait until I finish all this. So now we've got the sturdy cap. Adds 51 to your armor. It's pretty good. But now this is where the game starts uh, sort of getting extra stuff. So Splint Boots, 213 gold, we'll buy those. Uh, Splint Gauntlets, 213 gold, we'll buy those. Uh, Splint Cape for 657 gold, we'll buy that as well. Shoulder Guards, Splint Shoulder Guard for uh, 213 gold, we'll buy that as well. Why not? Right, so all we've got left is like shields, breastplate and helmet. Breastplate is, oh god, yeah, very, very, very... Uh, very big, that one. Okay, let's go for a sturdy cat. Let's go for a shield. And I'm going to try and steal this. Let's try and steal the splint breastplate. And use a luck point. Damn it! Ah, I got really bad luck with this. I was caught stealing. I could not afford to bribe the judge, so I'm going to have to use the jail time. And our luck has decreased by 25. That's fine. That's okay. That's not bad, I guess. All right, let's journey on. We'll get that later. We will get that. All right, let's do, let's do another battle. What do we get here? We get six experience points. 25, to be precise. Not too shabby. All right, Sir Mordred Baker. He's very weak. Uh, I've got a lot of armor in comparison to his very little armor. Let's see how good my axe does. 74 damage on a critical hit. Yeah, that's much more like it. 37 damage on, uh, yeah, that, 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 that axe is awesome. I'm going to be continuing with this axe, I think. I think I'm just going to go down the axe route, because axes are great. What can I say? 738 gold for that, and five stars for victory. All right, let's, con let's carry on as the doorbell is ringing. That's fine. We gain two luck points. We rescue a cow from a bog. Sir Lambert Dubois. Or Dubois, whatever it is. Anyway, it's late noon. We're up against Lambert Dubois. He parried immediately. And he's taken off something. I don't know what he took off there. Oh, he took off my... Did he take off my gauntlet? I don't know. Anyway, take that. You now have no armor. I still have loads of armor left. Devil's Horseshoe has been used. Oh, God, that's bad. Uh, I can advance. What's that? Arabian Sands has been used. I'm stuck. I can't do anything. That sucks for me. Okay. 
using all this a lot, aren't you, my friend? Ha! You've walked into stomping range! You walked into stomping range and you lose. Victory! Alright, nice. I'm going to try and steal that armor again. Let's try and steal it. Since I've got some luck points. Yes! We've got a five. Which means we stole the item. And now we're fully kitted out in splint armor. Very nice. All right, that that was useful. I lost a luck. I lost some luck. I lost all my luck, but then I got the item, so that's fine. I still got some luck to go. Anyway, next noble deed. It's a it's a useless noble deed. Okay. All right, we'll do one more battle here. Uh, Sir Lancelot Rock. He certainly does rock. Look at that hair. Look at that mane of mullety hair. Look at that dreadlock hair. Actually, I think it's not even mullety. It's dreadlock hair. All right, Arabian Sands has been used. I'm sleeping for a bit. Sleeping a lot. Now he's dead. And he cost me two stars, the little git. Anyway, fight for 25 stars. Not too bad. Alright, should we should we do one more? Yeah, we'll do one more and level up. And then we'll go back to the tavern. Alright. Oh, and I lost a star. Of course, they don't listen to you and they run off laughing. You caution some young hoodlums who've been causing a kerfuffle in the streets. I lost a star point. Ah, well that's fine. Alright, so Sirius Malthus. He's very weak. He's very weak, actually. I shouldn't have a single problem fight fighting this guy. Critical hit immediately. He's on one health. And he's dead. So I, I got five stars for that. Maybe those hoodlums will learn next time. Give no quarter. I get another star for that. Very nice. And we are now a Hedge Knight Commander. New battle skill unlocked. Coup de fart. Okay. Whenever your enemy reaches 10% uh, or lower health, you can unleash a devastating fart. This fart has 50% chance of killing your foe instantly or doing damage to you instead. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. For your strength, bone-jarring attacks, and incredible physical prowess, the people have given you the nickname of The Titan. And that's a cool name for me, I think. I think we'll take that. And we will just level out all our stats at 10. And we'll do a quest as well. Why not? Fork in the road. Okay. Climbing high into the hills, you follow a dusty trail. It twists and turns before dividing into a forking path. The path to the left climbs further into some crags. The path to the right descends and curls down into the valley below. Let's go to the crags. All right. Taking the uh, left path, you climb higher on into the hills. Amongst the field of barley... You discover an old abandoned stable and find you find a sack containing a pile of gold coins and some devil's horseshoes. What their original owner had intended for them is anyone's guess. Nice, we got some devil horseshoes and we got some money. All is nice there. Alright guys, well I'm going to go for a break here, but the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Medieval, we'll be moving on, leveling up and doing more tournaments as the Titan. I'll see you then.